What's up, everybody? This is Happy to Game, and today in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what I think is the most important hideout upgrade you should get uh, when you're a new player in Escape from Tarkov. The first thing that I think everybody should be upgrading is in their hideout is going to be the workbench, and there's a few things, and I'll explain why I think this is very, very important. Now, level one workbench uh the requirements are right here all you need is two screw nuts two bolts and one leatherman multi-tool if you haven't uh got the flea market yet this is very easy to get if not you can go to do a few ollie runs and you should be able to pick up these items but if you just want to get it right away go to the flea market look up these things purchase it get that workbench and if you still aren't level five yet to have unlocked the um flea market go check out my video on how to level up to five quickly uh so you can unlock the flea market all right so when you finally get the workbench uh when you go to your character you're gonna to unlock a few things you're gonna unlock modding and you're gonna unlock edit presets now both of these are very very good um little features in escape from tarkov but in my opinion uh the best part about this is this is a just a regular mp153 i will also be showing a new another video in the near future on these awesome uh sh like semi-automatic shotguns I look forward to that video in the future but for this video you go right click on your weapon you can go to modding uh, but more importantly you can go to edit preset now the reason why i like the edit preset is because you literally can go and look at any slot and it will show you which items are compatible for this shotgun now i don't have any of these in my stash none of these okay but it's showing up and it's appearing for me because it's essentially allowing me to build my own loadout for this specific weapon and what's really awesome about this is let's say i, I load this up with a few things right let's say i put in a hammer or something right something ridiculous um, I put in a cylinder here, put in this monster claw clapper, um, and then I go, and then let's say I want to actually build this, Well, now you can go to find parts, okay? Look at this, you can find the parts, and then this is showing you um, owner type by traders. If you turn this off, so this is essentially just showing you uh, if anyone is selling it through the traders. If you take this off, and you have the flea market unlocked you actually it'll search for anyone who's selling all of these items on the flea market and you can just go purchase them one by one the ones that you need or you can just go purchase all and it'll try its best as long as it's it's, it's available it's going to purchase everything all right so super super cool um honestly the easiest way to learn how to mod your weapon and the potential your weapons can have you can even open up this info slot here and it can show you um, everything that you've done to that to this weapon and uh, how it's improved it through all the attachments right and what's awesome is you can actually save these presets you can um, go you can go back here you can you can create a new preset you can call it something else new shotgun you build right and then you can you can you can just save it uh, for some reason it's not letting me save right now Oh, probably because I didn't have a magazine. Uh, but yeah, you can go edit preset. You can open up or make a new one, right? So I can open up the ones that I've done. Budget clap, which is the one that I'm going to be showing. Uh, you, then you can just save as. Um, or you can delete your presets. You can assemble it. If you already have all the items, I'll tell you at the very bottom here, and you can just assemble. Okay. Um, so that's really handy. Uh, obviously, just the regular modding screen is nice as well, right? Just having this screen here to be able to um, kind of take a look at your nice weapon that you've built up and modded. Super handy. I know that in in the workbench here, you can start to make items, um, which is cool. You know, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but uh, and you know you can make some cool things here but not really highly recommended or anything like that uh, not, nothing that's like a must-have um, but just being able to unlock that edit preset and modding uh, menu is crucial I think uh, personally for any new player jumping on to escape from Tarkov hopefully that video helps out if you like the video make sure to give it a like subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you all again next time bye now